My name is Brigitte and this is my mid-month Walmart grocery pickup healthy frugal haul. On this channel, I talk about all things simple living for busy moms. Hey guys, welcome. Today we have a Walmart mid-month haul for you. Me and Brielle went to go pick it up early this morning, so we're gonna show you what we got. Ready? Let's go. All right, guys, here's what we've got. We usually set this up with meat, dairy, produce, vegetables, and fruit and processed stuff at the end. So let's just get right into it. The prices will be on the screen. This was our mid-month haul, basically, for July. And we usually do Costco at the beginning of the month. And I did an Azure pickup also this month, which is already out. And so this is kind of the Walmart fill-in haul. I took the opportunity to get some canned stuff and stock up on that, as well as some dry goods like pasta. And then I got a couple of things for um, some recipes this week. And we have a lot in our backup pantry. So I try to not ever like need anything, like absolutely need it. Um, so that uh, if something happens, you know, I already have a bunch of stuff that I can use. So back here, we've got some of these um, pork sausages. These are the fully cooked ones. You just um, microwave them or, or we throw them in the air fryer and they're a good protein in the morning. We actually did make our own sausage by grinding it up and everything in our KitchenAid. Uh, but these are just so easy patty wise because they're already cooked and I don't have the other stuff cooked right now. So um, I got that. Uh, we got this ground beef. We never buy it in the tube, but you know, things are getting super expensive. So decided to just get this and I'm probably going to see if there's little marks here. You can cut them into um, whatever size you need and then I'm just gonna freeze it. So this is three pounds. Um, I'll keep some in the fridge for something this week and then freeze the rest. Got some heavy whipping cream for our cold brew, which we make every week in two gallons and actually, I need to because I don't have any. So we have some in the fridge, but none left. So I got to brew some today. Okay, meat-wise, I took the opportunity to stock up on pepperoni because we do Friday night is pizza night every week. And so sometimes we make our own and sometimes um, we doctor up things. But uh, pepperoni can get super expensive. So I put in the order for four, thinking, oh, if the Great Value brand is not available, they'll substitute it with something else, and then I actually get like more for my money or like a different quality for my money. But they had the Great Value, which is totally fine because we like this one, and so I got four. So um, that is great because this is a good price for pepperoni. All right, moving on, we've got some grapes here for the week for lunches for the kids. So that's awesome. I've got some broccoli that's going to be for a recipe. I'm gonna chop up. My card died, I had to go clear and make some room. Where was I? So I'm, I got these broccoli florets. I'm gonna roast these with some mushrooms and onions and make a pasta dish with, I got this smoked gouda, um, which this is a substitution, but it was one ounce less than what I ordered in a different brand, but it was cheaper, so that's fine. Uh, you know, it'll do. So I'm gonna put that all in a baking dish, roast it with that, and then add the noodles at the end with some olive oil and stuff. I saw Sarah do it from Our Tribe of Many, and it looked so good, and it got great reviews from her family. So that's on the menu this week. I am stocking up on some of these diced potatoes for the pantry, the backup backup pantry. If you've never seen our video on our backup backup pantry and how we made it, I will link it down below. Also got some uh, sweet potatoes and syrup, so yams for the pantry, and stocked up on some cream and mushroom soups and chicken, cream and chicken soup. Just for some recipes, every now and then we use it. We don't typically like to use it a ton, but you know, it's good to have in the pantry for different casseroles and such. I got a purple cabbage. What is this, purple salad? Yeah, you like purple salad when I make coleslaw with that. So I got one of those and I actually ordered for two green cabbages, but they said they were out, so I did not get those. I was gonna make some sauerkraut because the one that I have fermenting now uh, is almost pretty much done. So I was gonna start another batch because it takes like four weeks or so, um, but they didn't have any. So I'll have to pick those up somewhere else. Got some bananas for this week. I am glad they gave me actually some that are a little bit green because then they will not go bad super quickly. Got some red onions for the coleslaw that I'm gonna make. 
and I like to pickle red onions uh, and keep them in the fridge. Those are good salad toppings and just pretty much on anything topping. So I got two of those. We have a bunch of white onions we had gotten from Costco. Uh, I got some cilantro and cilantro went up in price and I should have got two, but this is for the coleslaw, but I also like it on salad, but I'm gonna just keep it for the coleslaw because it's a small little thing and it went up in price. I don't think I ordered organic or anything, but definitely was more expensive. I mean, everything's going up. Uh, green onions, I think, were the same price. So I plan to cut these and then try to plant these again in our garden because the ones we had kind of died. I wasn't really taking care of them and stuff. So going to reuse the bottoms for that in our garden. And to make salad, I got this head of um, iceberg. It's kind of a small one. Um, but it's fine. I'm going to use some of the kale and kind of mix it. And I think I have some greens in the um, fridge and then I'll just kind of mix some, maybe I'll do some sprouts to try to add some stuff. Maybe I'll take a couple little parts of the broccoli to kind of just make a medley salad um, with not as much lettuce, but maybe some more vegetables of sorts. So that's the produce, but uh, canned goods wise, we got two crushed pineapples. Um, this was for a recipe, though I can't remember what it was, but I remember I wanted some crushed pineapple, so I added it. Plus I got some pineapple chunks just to have for snacking. And I got um, two pears. Uh, oh no, these are artificially sweetened, not with the juice. Oh, bummer. Well, I usually end up um, rinsing them off and then putting them in our homemade yogurt. Uh, so hopefully I'll rinse off all this artificial sweetness because what is this here? Yeah, sucralose. Blah. Anyways, hopefully we'll rinse it all off. And then I got four of these green chilies just to have in our pantry because they're good to throw in different casseroles or dips or whatever, and I really like them. So shelf stable, got four of those. Got some of these sweet potatoes, the sliced ones, which is actually a substitution because I had got the Great Value uh, brand, but that's fine because this is a more expensive brand and I got it for the same price. So I got uh, two of those. And then I got a can of coconut milk. I like to try to get coconut milk when it's $2 or less a can. Uh, I usually get them when they're on sale at Whole Foods and stock up or at Trader Joe's. They actually have a good price usually on coconut milk. So I made this really delicious coconut milk, kind of like uh, souffle pudding type thing and it was chocolate and maple syrup and coconut milk and vanilla and a little salt and you just kind of blend it up oh it's so good kind of actually had a coffee flavor which is funny because there's no coffee in it but it was so delicious so I really wanted to make it again so I just got one can and then I got some evaporated milk because I feel like it was in a recipe I was looking at but I don't remember the recipe I look at so many recipes, guys, looking for inspiration. So anyways, I just ended up getting uh, two cans to have. Because I don't think we have any. We have a huge uh, 10, whatever, number 10 can. Uh, but I wanted some smaller ones because once I open that one, I'll have to, like, freeze it. And I didn't research that or anything yet. So anyways. Uh, and I also got some tomato paste. Um, we had a huge, like I said, big thing of tomato paste. But I wanted some just uh, for the shelf. Uh, so that it's just easy, but I have some tomato paste in the freezer and I actually am going to defrost some and make some fermented ketchup. Oh, careful, Bria. Uh, soon to test it out because that will be yummy. Everyone loves ketchup here and uh, it had all natural ingredients and it's fermented, so that's cool because you can add some probiotics. Uh-oh. And Bria likes water kefir, um, so that's great. She gets probiotics that way, but Benjamin, not so much. So... All right, what's this, Brielle? Pasta. This is penne pasta, the whole wheat. So this is gonna be for this dish that we're making and roasting, and one for the pantry. And then what's this? This pasta. is pasta, it's called ziti. So we got two of these, I think, yeah. So two of these zidis just for the pantry. We got this, this is called rigatoni. Can you say rigatoni? Rigatoni. Rigatoni, and then we got this, what's this one? Bow tie. Bow tie. Yes, so we got one bow tie. So I'm going to um, put these in the pantry. I may or may not put them in different containers to seal them, but we have some already, so I might like mix the same kinds together. 
I don't know. We'll see. Um, so that is our haul. I believe I got everything. Here is our total. If you like grocery hauls in general, check out this playlist right after you subscribe right here. Until we meet again, don't forget, life is better together. We have the kids right here, but not really.